Hey guys, Joe here, it's time for a new video. I'm going to have a quick look at the behind the scenes for June and then we're going to have a look at the game updates today. So first of all, in June we're looking for a new master quest, Deadliest Catch, which will require 70 fishing, 67 hunter and a thieving level of 60. Now you'll be able to get some nice hunter XP from this quest and yes, it'll be a master quest. It should be quite lengthy and should be somewhat difficult. So I'm looking forward to that. The master quests are usually pretty good. And next we'll be looking for the Trill Invasion, which is basically a new distraction and diversion where you'll be able to get some nice melee XP, so it sounds like, and fight some new monsters. And basically you'll be able to fight the Dynamite Troll and Cliff, who has basically eaten an entire cliff face for his first meal. So that sounds pretty fun, it sounds like we'll be fighting some difficult trolls and that'll be, you know, a distraction and diversion. I like the opening line to introducing this, it's, forget forum trolls, if you want a real nuisance you can beat the real thing. So that sounds pretty fun. And something that we'll be looking at towards the end of the month, we'll be seeing a huge selection of exciting rewards that you'll be able to access through the members loyalty program. Now I'm not sure how you'll be able to earn loyalty points, but basically you'll be able to earn these points and exchange them for special runescape items, emotes, costumes, and other things you can wear around your player. So that looks pretty exciting, and like I said, I'm not sure how we'll be able to gain the loyalty rewards. If you're sure yourself, or you have any ideas, let me know in the comments section of this video how you think we'll be able to gain them. So it looks like a pretty good month, not that many updates, but I'm looking forward to the Troll Invasion and I always look forward to new Master Quest as they always unlock something, you know, worth unlocking really. And the loyalty rewards is something different to what we've seen on RuneScape before, so that should be pretty nice to see. And hopefully we'll see some nice looking items uh, with some great graphical effects. So we're at the entrance to Relic right now and as we can see straight from the offset it has changed. The lighting looks a lot better in this area and the wood Basically, the biggest change that I can see is the lighting and the effects of how the wood look. So we can see that on the huts and we can see that on the spikes that surround the city. So as we, as we have a look inside the city, we can see this has changed quite a bit. The ground looks quite a bit different and definitely the lighting across my character. And I'm in max detail right now, so it may look considerably different to people who play in different details. But as we can see, it's changed quite a bit. The wood, the lighting and the ground. I haven't been to Relic in a while, which is why when I first came here, I was like, wait, has Relic been updated? And then I read the update properly, and I saw, yes, it in fact had. But as you can see, once you have start looking around it, you can see the lighting and the wood around the huts and the houses looks much better. So as Jagix say, it's a bit more of a atmosphere relevant to how Relica should look. So yes, that's pretty sweet, and I love seeing the lighting effects, and they've quoted it as a dusky lighting effect, and you can definitely see the difference there. You can even see it across your character, the lighting on your character looks somewhat different compared, at least I'm pretty sure it does. So Relic is looking pretty sweet and we can see RuneScape moving on quite a lot. But you can guys, you can go check that out yourselves, easy way to get to Relic is teleport to Camelot and run north, or use the Lyre from the quests. Now in the Fremnix Sargas update we are able to unlock three different Sargas. The first one can be unlocked by visiting a floor. 1 to floor 11. Basically you start a standard floor by yourself, a standard dungeoneering floor. I went by myself on complexity 6 and you walk around until you see a frozen figure. You simply unfreeze him by using a fire spell or a tinder box on him and you unlock this saga. You return to this guy and you talk to him and you'll be able to start the saga. The second saga can be started by visiting a floor 12 to 17 and you'll find a stack of swords within the normal floor and you'll be able to start this saga after talking to the guy located west of the Dungeoneering Cape guy, Fock. The third saga, the final saga, Fock it to them, can be unlocked on floors 30 to 35. You basically go into a normal floor and you will find some scribbled notes on the floor. Once you find those, you return here, west of the Dungeoneering Cape person, Fock, and you'll be able to start that saga. I'm very uncomfortable keep saying Fock on the video. Each saga basically has two parts. There's an abridged part, which is the standard storyline, and an unabridged. The unabridged is basically if you complete everything and all the bonus things within it. So to complete the first saga, you will only need a Dungeoneering level of 6, but to complete it fully, you will need an attack level of 30, a magic level of 30, and a range level of 30. To complete the second saga, Vengeance, you will need a Dungeoneering level of 23, but to complete it fully, you will need an agility level of 55 and a thieving level of 55. On the final one, you will need a Dungeoneering level of 59 to complete it, but to complete it fully, you will need a Strength level of 70. 
So guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some clips from the update. Some of you may consider them a spoiler, so if you're not wanting to have any of the storyline or anything spoiled, you might not want to watch. However, it's only going to be a few clips and it's not going to show much of the storyline or any of the storyline really. And I'm also going to show you the rewards. If this video was useful for you guys, thumbs it up and be sure to favourite if you really enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe for more RuneScape vlogs my upcoming video marathon in real life videos, RuneScape guides and more. Anyway guys, stay tuned to the end of the video as I'm going to show some clips and the rewards. Thanks a lot guys for watching the video.